Caden, what does it feel like to win your second stage in the Vuelta España? Uh, I'm really happy. Uh, yeah, the team really deserved this win today. And uh, yeah, they executed the plan well after a, a bittersweet second on Monja Week. So, no, I'm really happy. A bit of a scary run in. Uh, we saw your lead out men go down there, Robe, and then um, as well as Vanderberg into the final. You managed to get around there with Milano, and then you followed Milano. How did that work with you and Milano, and how did you make it through that area? Yeah, it was actually a really technical finish. Uh, we knew it would be, but I mean, there's such fast roads here. And uh, also the GC teams, you know, lifting the pace to stay safe. And yeah, it made for a really, really, uh, yeah, a lot of carnage out there. Uh, after the crash, Milano had the momentum, so he went uh, full from the bottom, uh, which meant I had to close the gap to him. But I um, mean, you know, a long uphill sprint like this is really, really tough to take from the front. And luckily I had the legs to uh, close him down in the, in the closing meters. And it's a special Volta Espana. There are some big names here with Vingago, Remco, Rolich. You're one of the winners in this Vuelta España. What does that mean to be with these guys here in this Vuelta? Yeah, I think it's arguably one of the best. Uh, we're going to see one of the best GC races uh, for a long time. And uh, that also, I think, has deterred some top sprinters to come here. Uh, but I mean, all the, also these hard finals like this uh, don't really suit us pure sprinters. Um, so yeah, it, it's a different dynamic for sure. Um, but I'm uh, really happy.